I'm just gonna try it again for the sake of some experience. And if I find cool items along the way, orange berries, survivor seeds, that's awesome. Hey, look, there's an orange berry here. I will take it. Yeah, and I'll take this orange berry. But because I know that it could be a little bit repetitive, I will skip ahead for you guys, so I'll see you soon. Medichan going to level 35. <laughs> So we have HP 1 up 2, attack 1 up 1, special attack 1 up 1. Okay. And I just realized that I am out of PP except for one more jump attack. Let's see what it does. A jump kick. A jump attack. Nudge! Okay, good. Basically, now it's a rush for the stairs because I don't want to have to use a max elixir here when I know that it's going to end so soon. Here, I'll give you an agility. Go faster and attack him. Here. I helped. Now finish him off! Finish him off! Fine, I'll just finish him off myself. Okay, come on, let's hurry. Found it! Just gotta get past this dude. Just gonna ignore him. We're almost there. And... Oh, he's actually dead. We got 475 experience and then we're leaving. We just have to find the stairs one more time. Find the stairs one more time and I'll have got through without having spent any max elixirs. And did we all level up? No, not quite. Uh, Medicham did and so that means Gardevoir is not too far behind. And then after Gardevoir, Lopunny wouldn't be too far behind. But I don't want to... I just don't want to use a max elixir and stay here any longer. I figure we'll level up along the way in the main place, you know, like following the actual, like, right path, the storyline a little bit more. So here we are, back at the fork in the road. Just going to skip past their dialogue, because, yeah, we already did that. Oh, what did you expect? We went in the same entrance as before! Well, Punny, aren't you going to try the other entrance? Huh? That was interesting. I seem to be a bit confused. This isn't interesting at all! This time, select a different entrance already! Gee whiz! Oh, you're that kind of person, huh? A gee whiz person? Alright, well, I'm going to save. Good news, too! Forgot to mention. Um, I did find one Reviver Seed while I was in there. Along with, you know, like, I found two Max Elixirs and I think a couple Orange Berries, too. So, it was definitely, I'd say, worthwhile going back through it again. Um, don't regret it in the slightest. Not at all. It's tempting. I won't do it again. No, I'll continue on. I've spent too much time off camera this special episode. I need to keep going. Enter the entrance on the right. Yes. Okay, here we are. Right cave path. It's the right one. Yeah. Okay, we're going to keep going. I want to make sure that my moves are set correctly. Yes, I have pound. Okay. And I still have calm mind turned off for both of them. And for Gardevoir specifically, I have calm mind and double team, you know, turned off. Filled up fully. I want to see then if I could make it grow. Yes, maximum belly size increased by five points. That doesn't seem terribly worth it, but you know what? It's five points that I won't have to worry about in the future. I want to look around a little bit because we haven't even found like what kind of Pokemon we're encountering in this area. Apparently an Ampharos is one of them. And a Laron again. It's not too bad. I mean, in fact, you're already dead. And with that, Gardevoir grew to level 37. Let's see, we have HP went up one, attack went up one, the special attack went up one, okay. And we'll just get our belly up again to 110, I believe it will be. Never took no damage. I'm confused. Okay, well, I just probably missed what happened. Yeah, maximum belly size increased, and the Ampharos was defeated. Good job, Medicham. Um, nothing up here, it looks like. It's hard to tell because the color of the ground, like, kind of whites out, you know, the map. But, pretty sure. Okay. Now that, um, Medi er, Gardevoir has leveled up, and since we still have a full inventory and everything, I am just gonna head back to the stairs and move up. Because we will level up before too long. Definitely before the fifth floor. Um, and that's when, again, I think that something might happen. That's like when I, the minimum for when I expect something to happen is the fifth floor. If it doesn't happen then, you know, that's fine. I'm not, like, set on it being that number. But that's, uh, you know, if it happened earlier, I would be genuinely surprised. Don't need either of those. Is down anything? Down is a thing. Okay, cool. Glad it wasn't just a dead end, wasting my time, you know. And jump kick! Yeah, yes, okay. 
We've got to be leveling up soon. I don't want to check because I'm just so sure, you know, because that's how it's always been. We've just been very far behind. And as you saw, that's what happens when I miss Jump Kick. It still does a lot of damage for, you know, just a self-inflicted thing. But it's still not as crazy as, like, the friggin' Medicham High Jump Kick. That's ridiculous how much that does. I'm gonna quick heal here. If Pokemon want to come and give me a level up, that's fine while I do so. If not, we're just gonna take the stairs and move on to the third floor of the Ripe Cave Path. I will eat this apple, because it is here, and it is delicious, and why not? Okay, down this way. Let's go, Team Charm, let's go! <laughs> oh, and just to touch back on what I had talked about briefly at the very beginning of me playing this special episode, with how I wasn't sure whether I should play it right away, or if I should wait until I see Team Charm in the actual game. I'm not worried about that because, like, I don't feel this is, again, spoiling anything. I feel like it's more just an introduction. So now when I see Team Charm in the post-game, in the, your post-credits game, um, I'll know who they are. That's all it is. Lopane grew to level 36. Oh, a new move. Let's see what we get. Dizzy Punch. Maybe. So, inflicts damage on the target. It may also afflict the targeted enemy with a confused status condition. It is normal physical. Hit ratio is 8 and power is 4. So, it might make him confused. 4 stars of damage, 8 stars of hit ratio. Let's see what pound is. Um, yeah, 4... So, it seems about the same. It's, it's normal physical. Enemy in front. That's 7 stars for hit, 4 for power. Okay, so it has 10... Pound has 10 more PP, that's where it changes. But this one has a chance to give them a confused status condition. I need to keep Jump Kick because I feel like I should have some kind of fighting move. Um, I don't know, I've never really used Endure though. Let me check this again. So it gives the user an enduring status. A Pokemon with the enduring status will survive any attack or move that would normally make it faint. It will hang on with only 1 HP. So let's check now on the Enduring itself. The status lasts a certain number of turns. How many turns is that? Could you tell me? That would be nice. I don't know. Because this would be, it would be really good to have Dizzy Punch in case, you know, I wanted to risk or er, chance being able to confuse someone. Or just if I ran out of pound, which, you know, happens sometimes. Um, and I've really only used Endure once, not even in a crucial situation, it was more like just to use it, I think. Um, this might be a mistake, but I'm going to get rid of Endure. So, yes, that's okay. We learned Dizzy Punch instead. Let's see the stats now. HP went up one, attack went up one, defense went up one, special attack went up one, special defense went up one. Boo to the yaw. Alright, we'll just keep using Pound for now, though. Because if they really are the same accuracy and same amount of damage, we might as well save the one that can you know, confuse opponents until, like, we need, you know, until we need to use it. Um, I'll, I'll keep that one Petch Berry in case they do get, um, poisoned. I do have the Heal Seeds, but still, what do I not need need? I might... Faux Seal seems a little bit better than Faux Fear in most cases, but I could see where it wouldn't be. Um... I think I will again, yeah, do the Quick Orb because I have, you know, agility for that. So I don't need it, is the thing. I still won't say that it's a bad orb, you know, like the All Mock Orb or whatever. No, it's still good, but yeah. And then, of course, we find another, we have to make another decision. I will replace... Sea Trap Orb. Sure. And I will eat this apple because we found it. And the stairs are here. Since I just leveled up, I will take them as soon as I'm able. Okay, now, down to the fourth floor of the Ride Cave Path. Dang it, I have to see what these items are first. I wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to just move on. You know, the curiosity would get to me. So let's see what these are. Hopefully something good. Well, Poke. Poke's always good, you know? I won't frown upon that. Ow, I thought... I thought someone else would be able to help me if I moved diagonally downward. I was wrong. We take you out. Fast heal, fast heal, fast heal. Okay, moving on now. Ground, proceed. We're on the fifth floor of the right cave path. And this could very well be the last floor here. It was. It was indeed. Oh, I can see a light coming from over there. That's got to be the exit. No, it wasn't. 
Huh. What? This is... the place where we started. What? Why? Hmm. When we took the left entrance, we ended up right back here. So when we took the right entrance, I thought we'd progress. What in the world is going on? How... how do we move forward? I wonder if there's some kind of puzzle. We probably have to solve a puzzle in order to move on. Hey, Gardevoir. Got any ideas? No. Sorry. But I don't have the faintest idea. Right here, there's two en eh, entrances. Eh, entrances! But other than that, <laughs> there's nothing. Huh. If Gardevoir doesn't know, there's not much chance that we figure it out. Well, wait a sec. I don't want to be put on the same level as you, Medicham. <laughs> Huh? What do you mean by that? Just ask yourself, have you figured anything out, Low Punny? Well, no. Actually, I don't have a clue either. <laughs> that answers that. And that was pretty much what I expected to hear, so I'm not mad. We've been together for a while, haven't we? That's just like you, Medicham. Thank you. You're welcome. However, uh, honestly, what should we do? Hey, wait! Oh, it's Wigglytuff, not Centred, okay. What? what? So is he gonna Yum Ta and burst open like a third center passageway? Yay, I caught you! My perfect apple! You're... Wigglytuff? <laughs> oh, it's Team Charm! Yay, friendly friends! Why... Why is Wigglytuff here? Oh, let me guess. You've come in search of the treasure as well? Huh? Treasure? I don't know anything about that. Treasure, I mean. My perfect apple just up and ran away from me. I was chasing it as it rolled away. And somehow I found myself here. Oh, I see. It's fine, it's fine. So, what are all of you doing here? We can't seem to go any farther. You see the two entrances over there? It doesn't matter which entrance we enter. No matter what, we end up right back here. We guess there's a puzzle to solve, because we're all really puzzled. Can you think of something to try, Wigglytuff? Maybe. Yay, perfect apple, perfect apple. Ah, weren't you paying attention to our explanation? If you've got a plan, we'd love to hear it. If you could lend us your wisdom, we might be able to figure this out. I think we're going to have to look for help somewhere else. You said it. It was a mistake to ask him. He's not listening to a word we say. Nope. I'm listening carefully. Oh. Huh? You helped, you helped me. So it would be terribly rude for me not to pay attention. Thinking about it, it's a pretty cool problem, isn't it? There's only two entrances here. If you enter either one, swoosh! Start again, start again! I give up too. I don't know. However... However? I guess. I wonder. If the paths you can see are the only ones. The visible paths... aren't the only ones? Whoops! My perfect apple! <gasps> Secret entrance and center! Perfect apple! Perfect apple! Perfect apple! <laughs> Alright, he's not gonna yum tie, but he did figure it out. Well, where'd it go? Wigglytuff just walked through the wall! What in the world? Wigglytuff disappeared! This is wall 9 and 3 quarters, apparently. But, if that's the case... You know it! If that's the case, then that wall... That wall might be invi an invisible, <gasps> hidden doorway! What? Could that be true? Then I don't know if it would be considered an invisible doorway, because a doorway isn't anything. It would more be like... A... What would it be? Because invisible doorway sounds weird to me. I don't know. What? Could that be true? I would just say hidden doorway or hidden pathway, not invisible hidden doorway. Wh or if that's true... Gardevoir! Lopunny! Let's find out for ourselves! Alright, but I'm gonna say first, you little... Rascal you, save and continue. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Serious mode. Let's do this. 
come on, let's hurry! Through the wall between the two paths! Alright. Couldn't be that the wall between the two entrances is... Maybe it's a hidden doorway. Yeah, we already we, we settled on that as a yes. Continue through the wall? Yes. Alright, let's go. And off they go. Through the wall. Into... Oh, an area, not another dungeon? We'll see. But where are we? In a limestone cavern. Past that wall. This huge limestone cave opens up. I knew it. I knew that the wall held the secret to finding the correct path onward. Did you? Wigglytuff is in here. He probably went on ahead. We should get going too. Okay, so there is a bit of a dungeon. Limestone Cavern, Floor 1. Let's head here! Uh, found the stairs, I'm just gonna take them. Limestone Cavern, Floor 2. But now we actually have to explore. Ah! Just our luck! And yes, I am teasing you. Those of you who, you know, can never seem to, you know, like, load up with the stairs. And you? I'm mostly worried about these guys because of, like, status effects, you know? I don't want status effects! I just want to go on and win! Darn you, Illumis! Go away! Oh, actually, you hit for 42 right there! That's a surprisingly high amount! Again, I, like I said, I was worried about, uh, status effects, not really anything else. Hey, will you cut that out? Great. Now I... Yes, please help me. Oh good, I actually did damage to Slow King. That was perfect. I'm just gonna quick heal while I can. Ah! Fine, I'll take you out. Ah! Okay, now we gotta go here. Eh, quick healing. I'm blocking Gardevoir because she only had like 20 health when I started quick healing here. Just wanna make sure that we're all fine and well before we really continue on. Help me out, Medicham. You missed! Dang it, then I missed! Even though I aimed perfectly well confused. Alright, moving on. To floor three of Limestone Cavern. Alright. Now we can all attack Slow King, and that's good because I missed, and that was terrible. And he's dead. Okay. Taking this apple, we're going to eat it right off the ground, Om Nom. And moving up. No, not toward the dead end. Wrong way. No! Toward the right. Thank you. Well, we don't need the thorns, but we might as well again keep stacking the Graveler Rock while we have it. And the stairs! Perfect! No! How? Okay. Let me just... Okay, you guys take him out. Good, okay, so we got 442 experience, and now we're moving on to the fourth floor of Limestone Cavern. This one, since it's actually, like, to make progress, I assume, is going to be longer. I mean, they were both assumptions that this is going to make progress. Okay, that has to be right. It's an assumption true, but it's a very strong assumption. The real assumption is that this is also going to be longer, not five floors like the other ones have been. Okay, are you just gonna... How long is that safeguard gonna last, seriously? Okay, there we go. Are you kidding me? Oh, now it's protect. Or maybe it was protect before, because I feel like safeguard had a blue shield, but it could be wrong. I don't know, it's just like, what do you do when they do that? You just have to wait as they keep attacking you. It's stupid. Okay, moving on to the right. Yes, we found a room with stuff. Not a ton of stuff, but I will take the zinc band. Let's get rid of this scanner orb. Okay. I still am hoping that I'll be able to heal as I walk, so I don't want to run into more enemies right now. Fast heal, fast heal, fast heal. Okay, sure, come here. Thank you for missing. I don't want you to protect yourself. It's a stupid move. Okay, ground proceed. Fifth floor of the limestone cavern. Now, moment of truth, once we find the stairs, you know, will that be the end of it? Wow, that was, was a waste of my time. Here we go. Fingers crossed. And it was the end. Wow, I'm super, oh. Okay, now we're gonna go depths, I guess. We've come pretty far, haven't we? I wonder where Wigglytuff went. Maybe farther ahead? Yeah, maybe. 
Or maybe we were already ahead of him. Whatever. I feel like the treasure is really close. Everyone, be extra careful from here on. Okay. We're gonna be extra careful. We're gonna save and continue. We're gonna have a quick chat with each of them, and then we're gonna head on upward. Speaking of, what is Team Odd up to now? I wonder where they are now. Never mind. Instead of worrying about them, I should be worrying about us! Low Punny, let's find some treasure this time. Okay, we should be more cautious from here on, Low Punny. Alright, mixed signals, but let's do it. Would you like to go on? Yes. More mixed messages, one from, you know, Medicham, like, let's rush in and do it, and one like, let's be careful. Okay, and what's the dragon? Oh, no. I feel like I want to use agility, too, to counter that. And pound. Okay, cool, you're gone. Probably didn't have to do that, but it seemed, it seemed like a smart move at the time, you know? Now, how would... How would... Oh, right. Oh, no, I do have jump kick. wonder how that would fare against him because of the whole flying type. Okay, so it kind of just cancels out the weaknesses, that is. So I'm not going to worry about doing that to Aerodactyl should we encounter any more of them. I'm going to leave that special band because I feel like I have enough of those in my storage. And we found the stairs, so we're going to move on to the second floor of Deep Limestone Cavern. And we found the stairs, so we're going to move on to the third floor of Deep Limestone Cavern. And we found the stairs, so we're gonna move on to the fourth floor of Deep Limestone Cavern. And we found the stairs, so we're gonna move on to the fifth floor of Deep Limestone Cavern. Holy buckets. We just found, was that three or four stairs in a row? I think three. Yeah, we found stairs on the first floor to the second floor, then to the second, to the third, third to the fourth. That one, I don't know. Point is, it was awesome. Uh, would this do a lot to you? No, okay. Right, just ground. Okay, marching along. <laughs> just for you, I will cross my fingers that it takes forever to find the stairs this time. See, look, my fingers are crossed. That's right. Oh, crap, my battery is red. Just looking at, glancing down at my 3DS, I happen to see that, you know. And we found the stairs. What do you know? I'm gonna take this Poke and move on. We're gonna quick heal. I don't know if I wanna... Okay, I'll take you out. Quick healing again. Dang it, another one. Your friggin' safeguard or protect. No, I'm, I'm screw it, I'm moving on. And we did find something else. Okay, limestone cavern depths. We've come pretty far. How much longer till we find the treasure? Don't be so impatient, Medichan. We'll get it sooner or later. Or sooner or later. Everyone, look! There's a light over there! Hmm, last few times we found a light, it's been bad news, but hey. Yay! What is it? Let's go and find out. Now it looks like this is promising. Metacham, Lopunny, there's a treasure chest over there. That is a big green treasure chest. Wow! That treasure chest is huge! The rumors of a treasure in the depths of Boulder Quarry seem to be true. You said it. Looks like treasure to me. Lopunny, open it! Quick! I can't wait! <laughs> Patience is a virtue, Medicham. Opening a treasure chest should be done with grace and splendor. After all, aren't we Team Charm? I know, I know, but... Ugh, the suspense is getting to me! Forget the graces, low punny. Just hurry up! <laughs> Can you be a little more mindful? A little less rash? Alright, alright, I'll open it. Ta-da! The moment this treasure chest is opened... What kind of treasure will be will be revealed to our eyes, who knows? What wealth of beautiful things will we find? That thought is filling me with excitement! And determination to all you Undertale fans. Oh, truly, truly, please, don't disappoint me. I don't care about all that! Open it already, Lope Honey! Here goes! Lope Honey opened the treasure chest. Ta-da! What? What kind of treasure... is inside? Oh. N nothing The real treasure was inside all along. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Let's see what happens. The treasure chest. There's nothing in it. It's totally empty. I don't believe this. Did Odd beat us to it? I don't know. Maybe I'm simply exhausted? 
Maybe I'm simply imagining this? It is not your imagination. There's absolutely nothing inside that treasure chest. But... Why not? You! Oh, look who it is. Team Odd? Ah, the treasure! Did you already sneak off with it? Huh. Looks like we were too late. No, no, hang on! We're not the ones who took the treasure. When we opened the treasure chest, maybe Wigglytuff got to it. I don't know, he does have his instincts. He is a prodigy. It was totally empty. Don't lie, you cheater. It's not a lie. It's the truth. Huh. If you're gonna lie, or if you're going to lie, could you at least be a tiny little bit more convincing? What? If you're going to keep lying like that, then you're not a real exploration team. Except you call yourselves thieves, and you call yourselves a thieves. I don't know, whatever. I don't know. What did you say? You're underqualified to obtain that treasure. I guess we'll just have to take it by force then. Huh. You're all talk. Attacking us with false accusations? I knew the rumors were true. You're just villains. We just can't forgive an exploration team like you. We made a promise to center it too. Looks like we'll be able to keep it. We're the treasure hunters, Team Charm. You, we're going to punish you, so get ready. Huh, I knew it would come to this from the moment we first met you. You've never come up against a band of themes like Team Odd. Prepare to feel something next, I pressed, yeah. Make sure you savor it. Arbok, Drapion, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Metacham, Low Punny, here they come. Anytime. Okay, let's go. And off we go to fight. Team Charm for the win. Yeah, you know it. So I'm gonna do the same thing with Gardevoir, turning all your moves off except for... Actually, it looks like there might be two turns. So, okay, I'll let you do double team first, and then Calm Mind. Um... I don't know about Medicham. There are two poison types. Is fighting bad against poison? I genuinely can't remember. And this is just a fire physical. So I'll have Thunder Punch and Fire Punch on. I'll keep these two off because, again, I don't want to use a Reviver Seed. And if fighting is indeed bad against poison. Um, I'll use Jump Kick against Weavile to deal with the ice. So we're not missing out there. Just trying to figure things out. Okay. So I think we're good there. Um, as for moves, I'm definitely going to start off with agility. And I'll move up. And I will attack with jump kick! Really? You're going to do that, team? You're just going to gather behind me? I don't think this is going to go too well, to be perfectly honest. Well, let's see what happens. With jump kick! just a terrible, like, setup right now. Okay, well... Jump kick again! We've all still up. Kinda surprised. I should probably switch to confusion. I'm about to use a River Seed. Pretty sure. Maybe not, you know. But let's instead use an Orin Berry, because we have more of those. Low punny! Okay, cool. Okay, I gotta, I have to remember this move to switch that off. Okay, I can't use items anymore. That could be bad. First off, team, Gardevoir. Um, I'm just gonna turn that on. Actually, what's your move thing? Enemy in front, dang it. Maybe Magical Leaf, then I'll switch that on too, just in case. As for me, use Agility again. Is it triple speed? Oh, I didn't know we could just keep climbing like that. I actually, thinking back, I knew we could. I forgot. So why not do it again? See if we can go, yeah, we're at quadruple speed. All right, we'll jump kick. Cool. We're gonna move forward now, so we're all, all in this together. Okay. And I suppose I should try to take you out first. Okay. Uh, no one's dying, go. Yes, please use confusion on these guys. That'll be super good. Okay, our box dead. Now we can focus all of our attention. Oh, and actually, yeah. Now that I think about it, just I should probably turn off magical leap because 
now that she can actually like attack them directly, you know, enemy right in front, um, a psychic type attack would be so much better. And you know what? I will use agility again. Just to make sure that we win. Pretty sure we will, but hey, why not be absolutely certain? And there we go, Team Odd was defeated. Okay. So, I guess. Blast, they're pretty strong. You did pretty well. But don't underestimate us. Team Odd's true power, this isn't all of it. Uh huh. You guys? What are you guys? Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Gardevoir, Medicham. Here it comes. Be careful. Oh, you meant let's go, like let's keep fighting. Okay. Let's take care of it. Let's beat them at their own game. Yum Tong! Hey, look, it's Wigglytuff. But what? Who are you? W Wigglytuff? This is Wigglytuff? This guy? In recent years, he's made quite a name for himself, despite how young he is. The Exploration Prodigy. That Wigglytuff? This is him? Everyone, wait a moment. Both of you, please stop fighting. But why should we stop, Wigglytuff? They're bad guys, you know. That may be true, but fighting isn't good. Besides... Yes? You. You got caught in the trap to br Wait, you got caught in the trap to bring you to battle. What? Fighting isn't good, but you got caught in the trap to bring you to battle. Hmm. But what did you say? This fight was planned? Yes. This fight was set up. But that's... Who did? The one who planned it is the boss who lives in the slimestone cave. I don't know why he did it, but... He wanted Team Charm and Team Odd to knock each other out. Okay, see, when he said there was a trap, I thought it meant he said it. So it was like... That doesn't quite fit with what you just... You know, like... Whatever. Your your priorities? Your values? We'll go with values, yeah. And by making you all focus on the battle, I think someone is going to great lengths to hide something. He probably... Just wanted to protect the treasure, I think. This treasure? Just protect it? Yep. But, what I've said so far, everything is only a guess. That's why you won't know the truth, unless you ask. Okay. Right? Right. What I said. You were listening, weren't you? W Wigglytuff? Is Wigglytuff talking to the treasure chest? Hey, was that the truth? Tell me. <laughs> the treasure chest is speechless. Yet it wants to party. Hmm. What? The treasure chest! It's shaking and rattling! <laughs> it's a ditto! Please let it be a ditto! Yes, it's a ditto! I was right from the beginning! High five! Psh, I'm awesome! Okay. What the? Is that a Pokemon? His name is Ditto. He's a Pokemon who can use the move Transform. Transform? So, you use Transform to turn into a treasure chest? Treasure chest? Yes. When my food was stolen in the southern jungle, that was you, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. I did that. I'm really sorry. And... Yeah, and the Blossom, we know. Team Charm? I deceived you many times, Team Charm. I'm sorry. Many times? How many- how many times? Huh? Deceived? Deceived. I think I know what that word means. Deceived. As you saw, I have the power to use the move Transform. I was a treasure chest earlier, but that's not all. I can also transform into Pokémon. See, I knew that one. I didn't know we could actually transform into inanimate objects. <gasps> Is that true? Don't tell me. Back then? For those of you who don't remember. Alright, let's do our best and get through this jungle! Um... Who are you? I'm Blossom. I live in this jungle. If you're talking about the treasure chest in Boulder Quarry, you really should give up. Was it back then? 
when we were warned earlier in the southern jungle? That blossom and... Or that blossom, I suppose. I will admit, I didn't notice this one. After watching you, I feel like I can trust you, so I have a request. I thought that that was genuinely Sentret, because doesn't Sentret also have a pretty plain face? Yeah, no. Kudos, though. They got this one past me. A request? Yes. Timod? Timod needs to be punished. The one who asked us to punish Timod. That's Sentret, too. They were really... You? You? That's right. Blossom and Sentret both. Honestly, they were me. I used Transform. For deceiving you up to now. I'm really, truly sorry. Only because he got caught. Why'd, why'd you do that? Do that? Because, just as Wigglytuff said earlier, it was all to protect this place. Protect this place? This place, yes. Mm. Here, I'll show you around. Please, come this way. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing so. Is there a time gear? Look, there's green glow up there. We've arrived. Yeah. Huh? Whoa. What? What's this? What's this light? Yeah. Hmm. This is... There's something floating in the sky and shining. It's an incredibly mysterious scene. But it's so... It's so pretty. Yes, very. It's emitting this blue-green radiance from its center. That light is illuminating the whole cave. This is very beautiful. It's just fascinating. I've never seen anything like it before. But... But this thing... What is it exactly? You don't know? It's a time gear. Huh? A time gear? This is... This is the first I've seen it too. This is... This is... Yes. This is a time gear. To protect this. And that's why I'm here. Hmm. I see. A time gear, huh? <laughs> I guess we don't have any choice. Arbok, Drapion, we're going home. Huh? W wait up, you. What? You're a band of thieves that does bad things, aren't you? So you're just going to go home without stealing anything? Huh. <laughs> if it was something other than... If it were some other treasure, it'd be fine. But you can't just steal a time gear and take it with you. Even though we're scoundrels, we at least know that much. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> there are some things you just can't take. Like a time gear. Hmm, I see. Well, cool. By the way, we're not finished with you. The next time we see you, we're not going to go easy on you. Arbok, Drapion, let's go! Well, off they go. Next time, we'll beat you up. Remember that. All right. <laughs> it's a date. Of course it is. Phew. So the treasure here was just the time gear. Up until now, we've gotten every treasure we've aimed for. Yeah. This time we found something even we can't take. No way. It has to be this way. There are some things in this world that you just can't take. Even though we can't take the treasure with us, I'd call this success. This is success, wouldn't you? We even had a more than fair fight against the villainous Team Odd. Oh, that's right. Besides that beautiful and precious time gear, we saw one for the first time, didn't we? Oh yeah, that's right. Yep, that's right. And we made it successfully through the maze that has stumped so many others before us. I knew it. We are the best, aren't we? Wahahaha! <laughs> 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 Laughter. Um, that's great, everyone. Well, I'm headed home now. Gardevoir, Medicham? Yes? Got it. Huh? What's with everyone? Wigglytuff, you're not half bad. We've got a better opinion of you now. Huh? You saw through the Ditto's treasure chest disguise. 
You're really cool. Is that so? I see. <laughs> I guess. So, what will you do next, Wigglytuff? Huh? Next? Yes, next. I wonder. I don't really have any plans. Well, if you'd like, you could always come explore with us. With you? Yes, with us. What do you think? Hmm. What should I do? It would be fun exploring with you, but I've never explored with anyone other than my master. Lopunny, that thing. I'm on it, Gardevoir. Hey, um, Wigglytuff. <laughs> Are they gonna offer perfect apples? If you were to come exploring with us... <gasps> yes, they are. We could give you this. Would you like that? Whoa! It's a perfect apple! But... I haven't decided if I'm giving it to you yet. Let's get something straight. We're all pretty fast moving. Do you think you could keep up with us? Ooh, it's all cinematic. I can't press A. What do you think? How about a race? Three, two, one, go! Yay! Go, go! I'll go everywhere. I don't know who's saying that. Oh, him. Yumta! Stab credits. Alright, time to talk about this episode. So I guess... Wow, okay, can I actually skip these credits? My battery is flashing. I am pressing every button I can. Crap. It's not gonna save until we get through this, is it? Sorry, I wanna... I don't wanna lose, like, this progress because obviously I have it recorded, so, like, that won't change, but I'd like it to actually say that, yeah, I, I completed the special episode. But if you wanna see... Look, it's just flashing red. Flashing red. So... This could be bad. Well, I guess nothing I can do if I can't skip it. I'll just keep talking for now. I will say that I like this special episode a lot better than um, today's Oh My Gosh, and even better than Bidoof's Wish. I think that I preferred Igglybuff the Prodigy. Igglybuff the Prodigy is my favorite. This is my second favorite. Then I think... I think today's Oh My Gosh, actually, and then Bidoof's, but those are pretty much tied. I'm not sure. I'm going to say that those two are tied for third and fourth, whatever. Um, and then I don't know what the fifth one's gonna be like, obviously. But yeah, this one, I thought it was pretty cool. First, I, I, in the end, of course, I liked, I liked Team Charm, you know, throughout it. They were pretty cool, and they turned out to be fun. I liked the team dynamic they had going on, and just, um, you know, I'm, those Pokemon themselves, you know, I'm a fan of those Pokemon well enough, so it was, it wasn't a bad experience by any means playing them. Um, they were pretty strong, and it actually made for some challenging experiences throughout the dungeon, which I would say is pretty good. Like, if it were so hard that I would have to keep trying over and over again, like I just kept losing, you know, that obviously wouldn't be good. But I feel like it had a pretty good balance of everything, where, you know, yeah, I did die, I had to restart, but once I, you know, I took some time to grind, I leveled up, I got, you know, newer, better moves, um, and then I was just more careful, like when I found the second monster house, I just ditched them, petrified them, and then ran. You know, once I was more careful about it, um, then it wasn't that bad. And the boss battles, you know, as long as you use your moves correctly, then, again, you know, you can, you can get through it just fine. We're at the end here, since this is, um, flashing, I'm gonna try to, like, bank everything really quickly, and then, you know, save it. So I'm gonna skip ahead, I'll get back to you guys soon. Saving, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Save completed. Oh good, okay. And look, now Grovile's left there. Okay, so those four are completed. I'm just gonna turn this off and we'll keep talking. Okay, so I covered the fact I like Team Charm, I like the team dynamic that they had. Um, I actually rather liked the difficulty of this one. At first, I was a little bit concerned because I died so early on. You know, like the first dungeon within the first 10 floors, I think again it was the seventh floor or so, I died due to a monster room that was pretty rough and I saw all these traps everywhere. So yeah, I was concerned at first that this was going to be a really hard special episode. But again, after I took the time, you know, to level up, to grind, better pick my moves, better pick my fights even, you know, when to just take the stairs early. Um, it worked out really well, and it ended up being where it was challenging enough where again I had to watch myself, but I also didn't have to like really stress about it. I, I was able to get through it pretty easily. Um, so there's that. 
And I also like the fact that in this special episode, we got to see a little bit more of Wigglytuff's origin story. Obviously, we saw his, like, real origin in Iglybuff the Prodigy, but we got to see a little bit more about, you know, what he did, you know, this is the first time we get to see him as a Wigglytuff, I suppose. Well, I mean, you know, aside from the main story, the first time since his origin that we get to see him as a Wigglytuff. He's just traveling alone since he lost his master, Armaldo, you know, because he's in jail. Um, and, you know, he's made a big name for himself, as we learned from Team Odd. Uh, but I, I guess not everyone knows about him. I don't know, because they didn't recognize him at first. Team Charm didn't, I guess. But it was cool to see that. Cool to see that he was still smart. Um, I thought it was pretty clever, too, having the Ditto. Like, I caught the Ditto right away with the Blossom, and so I knew it was going to come back and everything. Uh, but I didn't know how. I didn't suspect that it was the treasure chest, because I didn't know the Ditto could turn into inanimate objects. And I obviously, or not obviously, but honestly didn't see, um, through the Sentrid's little or the Ditto's disguise as a Sentrid, because again, I think Sentrid also has those blank eyes, and I thought that the expression was really just like, one of hesitance, like, you know, I'm not sure I should be saying this, or whatever, or like, I'm not sure I should have been watching you kind of thing. That's what I took it to be. I thought it was just a reflection of his actual expression. I didn't think about a Ditto thing, because it made sense for him to run up and be like, yeah, this happened to my team, and they're all scared now. If you could take care of them for me, because they're bullies, that'd be cool, because you're obviously strong. That made sense to me, so I didn't, I wasn't suspicious about that. My biggest complaint, and I think really my only complaint in this one, was the fact that, again, in the very beginning, to introduce Team Charm, we see a Graveler go up, and, you know, they're all statues, Team Charm. And then, once he's about to take it, they jump out and take it, and then leave him to, you know, collapse under the ruins. We have no idea who this Graveler is, do we? I don't. And that was just a bad thing. Again, like, it showed them as being like, yeah, we're kind of bad Pokemon. We're totally going to, you know, just get here early enough to sit here as statues, like, disguise themselves like that. Then we're gonna take the treasure. I don't know, basically, I didn't take it as, like, a light-hearted little prank thing. I took it as being, no, that's the kind of thing that a bad team would do, like Team Skull or Team Odd or whatever. That's something that I would see them doing, is like deliberately harming other Pokemon. Because if they just wanted the treasure again, they could take it and then get out before the Graveler showed up or anything. Obviously, because they took the time to like set up their whole statue positions, they had gotten there before. Like, if it had, if it had shown them standing in front of the treasure chest looking at it and then Graveler came up behind them and then they turned around, sure, that would make more sense because you could reason, oh, they got there at about the same time. Not much they could do about that. But because they obviously had time to prepare themselves for that kind of situation, it just makes me look down on them. And because of the rest of the episode, like, they had no traits like that that I saw, I just don't know why you would start the special episode like that. There are plenty of other ways where you could still have a cool, like, we're Team Charm beginning without making them come across as jerks. So I don't get the point of that. I wish that they would change that because, you know, it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't seem to relate to the same characters. It doesn't seem to show the same characters that are expressed throughout the rest of the special episode. But aside from that, I did like this episode. Again, it's not my favorite, but I'd say my second favorite, right below Iglybuff the Prodigy. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments, whether through your own playthrough or through mine, and we're calling it here. Kill outro, go!